In this video, we're going to look at using GeoGebra to generate TIX code to use in our LaTeX documents. GeoGebra is a great tool for creating and displaying mathematical diagrams. You can get a copy of GeoGebra from the GeoGebra website, www.geogebra.org. Let's start by creating a simple diagram in GeoGebra. First, we'll add a circle. Next, we'll add a polygon inside our circle. Then we'll measure an angle inside this polygon using the angle tool. Now we'll add a straight line going through two points on the circle. We'll finish up by turning the grid on. Now to export this as TIX code, we open the file menu, hover over export, and click on graphics view as PDF slash TIX. We then tell GeoGebra how much of the grid we want included in our TIX picture by altering the X and Y minimum and maximum points. You'll see a blue box represent this area on the grid. Next, we check the format is set to LaTeX article class and then click the generate button. Now if we hit copy to clipboard, we can then paste it into our empty tech file. You'll notice that it's generated a preamble where it loads up the tix package and a tix library and it also defines a new command. It then begins the document and defines some colors before opening a tix picture environment. If we compile the document, We'll see it appear in the document. As it's generated from TIX code rather than an image, it's very high quality. We could also turn a TIX picture into a figure to give us more control over things like positioning. To do this, we simply enclose the TIX picture environment in the figure environment. We can then add a placement specifier, a caption, and a label. Now if we want to include this figure in an existing document, we can copy over everything in the figure environment. We also need to make sure we copy over the relevant parts of the preamble if they're not in our existing docs preamble already. Therefore we'll copy over the use package command and the use tix library command as well as the new command definition. Finally, we also need to copy over the colour definitions. If we go back to GeoGebra, we can alter the way our diagram looks by right clicking and changing the object properties. For example, we can change colours, point styles, line styles and line thickness. Another useful thing we can do with GeoGebra is export ticks in a Beamer format so that we can add diagrams into presentations. To do this, we export like before, except we select the LaTeX Beamer class option. If we now copy this into a blank tech file and compile the document, You'll notice it has generated a number of slides which build up the diagram piece by piece. This is due to the on-slide overlay specifications that GeoGebra has automatically generated for us. 
For example, this onslide command tells Beamer to show the circle from slide 4 onwards. We can edit these overlay specifications to make the diagram come together in whatever way we want. For example, we may want to make the circle appear on the same slide that point B appears. To do this, we change this on slide command from 4 dash to 3 dash and then knock the numbering of all overlay specifications above 4 down by 1. Again, if you want to add this frame into another Beamer presentation, you can just copy over all the relevant parts as we did with the document earlier. This concludes our video on using GeoGebra to generate TIX code. In the next video, we'll look at creating flowcharts. Please do subscribe to our channel by clicking the on-screen link and keep in touch with us via Facebook, Twitter and Google+.